repel. And then... 3,000 is not really enough for what I want. We can level up. Or dealer with more block. Sold. Accuracy, you say. I... want to say... She's been hitting fairly reliably. Oh, wait, the blink, honestly, could be cool. I love what we did with the blink in the previous run. That was amazing. Critical master. Inertia. Whenever a skill using the momentum effect is cast, restore two movement points. Jesus. So much movement. And the movement translates into more uh, damage and mobility, which is both are great. Critical Master will be more damage, and Head On will be more damage. I wonder if if this scales the the the, uh, the momentum damage as well. I don't think it does. Now that I look at it, it gives you extra physical damage as an up here. I think they are plussed together, not multiplied on top of each other. I am not sure. And I'm not sure if that even makes sense. Or I'm being silly. Where's momentum here? Applied to damage per tile. This bonus damage per tile travel cast of this turn. Hmm. Yeah, and it doesn't work with teleportations for those of you who were looking hungrily at Blink. It doesn't work like that. Unfortunate. Head on. Critical master or inertia. Got a spammer in chat. Always fun. Mana shield. Something that I would love to get on a mana build for one day. Hmm. I don't know. And she doesn't have vampirism, so I think daily health regen would be nice on her, even though she doesn't even have coagulation, which I could get for her. Oh. Maybe that's the right choice then. 48 extra armor is quite a bit. And really she doesn't... I mean, she's got some nice defensive stats. But she does all the damage that she needs to do. And she has got mostly all the movement she needs to have. I mean, of course I want her to do more damage, but I think the coagulation is the right choice. Interesting. Not what I expected. Carmen with extra accuracy. But she's got so much. Yeah. It's only useful up until a point. So the resistance reduction, she's got none of that. Five, but that's from gear and could go away then. So let's go for that. Nice for ghosts and stuff like that. That's trash. Give me another roll. Honestly, I don't care about the health for you. But maybe that's a mistake. And she's gonna get the critical mass of thing. I was thinking about the longer weapons. Yeah, the lower reliability is kind of sad, but whatever. Fuck. 
4% critical is not a lot and this would make her make sure she doesn't get one shot by some random enemy. Yeah. Going a bit defensive now because we've been doing so well and again with the armor down here sure 40x armor for Lola critical power up but that's not really uh, that's kind of your thing hmm sure so that was a bit more aggressive if a seven man spent no the longer weapons for her would mean that she can buff people further away oh but i was going to give her the bag overload thing right Yes. Now we're stacking the potions onto her. Joanna. Mana. Isolation. Both kind of irrelevant. Healing received is great. Physical damage. I'm going to reroll. God damn it. Okay, and here. Skill range plus two. It's good on literally everyone else. No, well, not. Not on. Not Odila. Not melee characters. Opportunism. Opportunism doesn't really do anything. Because we're not debuffing at all in this run. Ah, but she did want to get a hammer. I'm still waiting for us to find a hammer for her. And then when she stuns, she can trigger opportunism. Sure. And then she doesn't really need more movement points. I'd say she's killing fairly effectively, but let's just double down on that. Armor transformed into health. And then healing received up by 50%. Which means two more from vampirism. Explosive essence. No. Field study. Critical master. No. Human ballista. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Human ballista. I love that skill. Gold mine, gold mine. Before I pick, no, we can't upgrade the the rarity from the armor mega. Oh, I wonder if I could have upgraded the shop before I click the button. Probably not. I don't think that's how it works. While I remember, we really gotta get us another hero now. Uh, so that leaves me with some money. But then it turns out we have a lot more money. Yeah, so we're fine. Then I'm going to test this. 70 gold to see a higher level item out of the armor maker. But it doesn't work instantaneously. Didn't expect it to, but who knows. Uh, experience gain on pants. Move points and move point. Damn. Okay, and then an armor over here, a heavy armor. Inquisitor pants. Magic pants. Time travel trousers. Let's do it. Oh. This is the knight reward. So we can either get a hand crossbow, which I don't think we want for common. Then we can get the upgraded version of the book that we already have on Lola. Trying to remember the names of my heroes here, and I think I'm doing okay. Novice's Tome of Secrets for Propagation Damage up, which is not bad. And then 7% extra magic damage base. That's fine. Meanwhile, the Rusty Sword... is primarily a momentum weapon so maybe it replaces the spear on 
Uh, you. Oh, but we should buy the new hero before I make up my mind about this stuff. Maybe we want the hand crossbow for the new hero, you know. So, in here we go. We have two that are the highest level we can get. Kelp. I'm usually not even looking at the other ones. I, I will pay the money to have a, a base better hero. I think that's just always worth it. Uh, pickpocket then. Lowers your armor, but you get accuracy and isolation bonus. This is a ranger unit with a gun. Discreet. Good, th good thing to be. And then heavy sleeper for mana region and daily health. Okay. Interesting. And then you are also a ranger. No, you are a mage. You are a wizard. <laughs> awesome. Uh, magic damage, critical mana, daily mana region down. Oh. What? That's a weird wizard trait. It reduces your mana and daily mana region. You're also discreet and versatile. That's why you have so many bonuses. Okay. Interesting. I think I like you more. I do like wizards. Uh, they're level 6 compared to the next in line who's level 4. So not even a question, really. Does he have like an, a breastplate on? Equipment-wise? Tough to see. I think Prisha. Oh, and this guy is a. This is a male. We are a female-only settlement here, as you can clearly see. So, Prisha. You have a troll blood amulet. Which I think does better on you. Daily health region. Anyway, stop by stealing her amulet as she arrives in town. I'll take that. Uh, Prisha, you are discreet, versatile, a wizard. You like doing magic damage. You do not like spending spells, which is interesting. But we could go for another critical build with you. I don't see why not. You already have a bonus to it. You do not have the critical tree, though. Do we have propagation tree? Quantity versus quality. But not that other thing. Maybe they removed that other diagonal propagation bounces thing, because I have not seen that in a while. Ah, it's here. Yes, okay, it still exists. Based on your block. Oh. Just think, trying to think of what kind of build we would go for with you. Not mana build. That doesn't make sense. Uh, thrifty still makes sense. Human Ballista. <laughs> Uh, you can do the stun. Oh, there's the stunning perk. I knew it existed. Okay, sadist, bully, hex. We could try for some sort of debuff build. Oh, we need to get you a better weapon. Anyway. I don't think I want to build another support character. We need another one who can actually do damage. So critical makes a lot of sense. Get that. Uh, and with that in mind, let me just... No, we should, we should see the stats first. Propagation bounces plus two. You don't say. And it's blue. But that's a mana thing. And you can't do mana. Or shouldn't. Minus four, minus three. But plus two, and this is so rare. I'm doing it. Propagation damage. 
propagation damage up. Uh, so then reliability becomes good. 20% yeah, of that, sure. And there's the daily mana region. Okay. Let's uh, re-roll this into some armor. I'll take that. We'll take the health. So now you can become a um, glass cannon like the others without too much of an issue. Critical is fine. Worries will with propagation. Critical hit. Sure. Do you have the glass cannon trait? Oh, you do not. Oh. Too bad. So we're working towards the propagation skill here. Maybe cheer? I know it said it didn't want a support character here, but... Oh, you have no accuracy increase, and this will be well, work well with propagation. I, I think I said that earlier, too. Aha. And maybe we could get a perk that help, helps with the mana then, right? So like the harvester. I think we're onto something there. And I can supply him with mana through potions. Okay. When applying a debuff, also apply Contagion. The thing is, we're getting him that book from the Knight Reward. Her. Her. For sure. This one has the Chain Lightning on it. So. This is... This solves her build just straight up there. Now you do propagation. Oop, perfect. And that propagation specifically does not do debuffs. So some of the propagation things do. This one does not. So I don't think we're grabbing it. Nimbleness is just great. Seven move is very low. Nimbleness go. Then quantity versus quality. And then thrifty. Relentless. No. Blood magic. Oh, that could have been the way to get around <laughs> the mana thing. Huh. I wonder how that interacts with the Harvester, and I think the answer is that it just makes your Harvester useless. Unless it turns your daily mana region into something. No. No. That would have been the solution, I think. I should have gone for this and not gotten the Harvester. Oh well, but then the Thrifty is honestly great for you, so you can get some reduction on that super expensive spell. There you go. Done. Alright, I think we can get some good uh, AoE damage out of Prisha, which is something we kind of wasn't, it didn't have, we didn't really have. We have a lot of single target damage, but not so much AoE. Uh, we've got some some in the in the melee characters, but... A lot of single target damage in common, and yeah, I think that was the right choice. Oh, I didn't, didn't want to go here. It's just a reflex. Back, demon. Brain fried. Sept plus two. Another mana potion. That is an expensive mana potion. I do want another uh, worker now so that we can start tearing down bigger buildings. That is a thing that I definitely will get. So here, there. 
And I could upgrade it if we had more money, but we don't. So here. Now I'm not so sure that we want gold. I think we should aim for materials. I did want to upgrade the item production level of the shops, but uh, or production buildings, but that will have to be in the next day. Defenses. Let us... Oh, nothing to repair. That's not true. Repair. Repair walls. This is not a wall. The horizontal gate cannot be repaired. Oh. Aw. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. They, why, why not let me? It's such a cool feature to have. Why can't I build gates like that? Aw. Okay, whatever, man. Let me think. I do want a bigger ballista now. Here I was almost doing it in the last day. Now I think that blocks a little bit more line of sight for you. And I'm tired of you being a small ballista. So let's just fix it. We can get another big ballista. small ballistas up here by the boss area. Not there where I block my own pathing. Surely this will bite me in the butt later. So here... I'm not sure what to expect from that boss guy. He might just pop up and murder all my ballistas that I put up here. Which is... <laughs> I mean, only relevant in the first, in the last night, and then I should have to focus on him anyway. So I'm not sure if that's a big problem if they shoot a bit at him and then they tank a hit or two. It's a risk, yeah. I'm sure you're talking about what I just said there. This feels like a good spot for a ballista, though. It just doesn't touch a whole lot of the area over here where this would, right? And this this won't hit, hit the boss though. So back and forth. Or at least I don't think it will, but who knows, man. I think I will put a barricade here. Or will it just get smashed so like right away? Honestly, that's probably what's gonna happen. It's just going to get smashed in the first night. I think we just build more wall. Uh, I will put a barricade here. 24. All right. Time to think about maybe upgrading some wall like this one here. And then I think we're done. I'll, I'll give it one more night during this stream here. So, I'm just surveying everything. I think we're doing good. I want to save a bit of gold for the next night because I want another hero and I want to do some shop upgrades and I want to build another shop next, next uh, day. So I think that'll be super expensive and therefore I think it's fine to... Uh, let's... Check the shop. Just one more turn, <laughs> exactly. Well, one turn or one night in this game is like an hour, right? So it's just... But I can feel my brain is getting fried. And, and I did want to uh, end this stream by playing a game of League of Legends, I think. So that, that's what's going to happen after here. Uh, leaving a bit of space for that. There's no nothing that I want to buy here. It's way too expensive. Everything's so expensive. Okay, did we have anything in here? I think, oh yeah, the pants, the noble pants for 
my propagation character, surely, right? That would be Odila. No, not propagation. Ah, see, my brain is fried. A uh, momentum character would benefit the most from this. And she also... Am I right about that? That the experience game would do really well on... On the guy that we're already trying to stack XP on. Uh, but no. Okay, this, that looks silly. Oh. Weird, uh... Yeah, I'm not like a, a fashion expert or anything, but I feel like those colors do not match, okay? <laughs> in, a, in a settlement full of women, you'd think that that'd be a, a, a debate topic. Hmm. That is so sexist, I'm sorry. Okay, focus on the game. I'm not sure where to put our new guy. Now we are going to have that problem where I, I can't split my forces evenly between two sides. Um, I feel like I was killing more efficiently down in the south last night. So maybe we put pressure up in the north. But again, um, Carmen is kind of flexible, if you know what I mean. She could maybe sit here and then easily bounce between the two flanks every turn. I honestly love that idea, like this. So I'm not going to start her here, because she needs to not move at the beginning of the turn in order to do the most. Okay, and then a little bit more positioning, dancing up here. You can stand behind her here. I don't think we need to be that aggressive. And then I want to make sure... Oh, you are pretty tanky now, Lola, I think. Yeah, you go forward a bit up here, maybe. Okay, done. And let it flow. 